And please identify who you are and where you are from. I'm Leslie Moody. I'm a member at North Shore UCC and a member of discernment attending Pacific School of Religion, which is why I have a question about not to ask as a student at PSR. Hi there. The, uh, the short version is last year when we were looking at these rather paltry amounts we give to those schools, uh, somebody said, we have a ton of folks at Seattle U lets up the amount. So, you know, it's a whole hundred percent. This year, we will have a task force that's going to look at two things. One is how and how do we fund our theology schools? Mike said this is something that's happening nationally. We'll get paged into that conversation. The other thing, and if you look back, you'll notice over the years the amount for Campus Christian Ministries, CHME, um, has gone down and then back up again. And similarly, the group will be taking a look at that. The, the, the group that did it ecumenically has, is in the process of dissolving and so the pendulum has swung from ecumenical back to denominational. So the groups uh, like Matt Smith, who is housed here, who is starting a program at the UW, a very vital program over at Wazoo. Apparently there's some in the, some of the other schools. This group will take a look at how it is we're going to work with those groups, how we're going to help fund them. So all to be, these are the kind of placeholders. And so that will be done then. If you want to join in that group, let Brandon know. Okay. I'm just enjoying the shirt. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt Smith. Uh, I'm with uh, Cooperating Ministries in Higher Education at the University of Washington. Um, I'm uh, always surprised by who does and who doesn't know our, our current situation, so I'd like to give you an update on that briefly. Uh, it was part of the, the budget discussion back in uh, December and January about uh, the conference funding for higher educational ministries locally. Um, to, to give you a brief version of uh, uh, who I am and why I'm speaking to you about this, uh, Cooperating Ministries in Higher Education uh, had been at the point of shutting down, and they weren't quite sure that they were all the way there yet, and so they hired me on a one-year contract to help them discern whether or not there was new life in the organization or whether or not they did, in fact, need to shut down. Well, it turns out, in fact, that they do need to shut down, so that, will, uh, that ministry will cease operations uh, at the end of my contract duration, which is the end of July of this year. So. Uh, there is a call and there is a need for higher education, but I think that the conference is wise to, uh, to hold back on a budget for something that isn't going to exist this year, really. And uh, I, I hope that uh, as a need, as the need for, uh, for Christian, progressive Christian ministry in higher education um, starts emerging again, wherever that's emerging, that uh, you will devote your hearts to seeing it. And uh, when it comes time to Funding that's something that has new life in it, that you'll do it then. But for now, it's a good thing that it's going away. Thank you. Seeing no other people at the microphones, I think we are ready to vote. So all in favor of adopting the 2012 budget as amended by the hearing, please signify by raising your voting card. Thank you. Anybody opposed? And anybody abstaining? The ayes have it. Thank you. So I would, again, as we move on into our um, resolution process, we have a resolution that was brought to us by, uh, it's actually a bylaws change resolution brought to us by CLSA that their name be changed. And so I'd like to invite Paul and Rich forward to speak to that. Magnificent creatures that met at hearing one uh, made the following uh, recommendation. We move that the uh, uh, requested name change from CLSA, 
Somebody knows what it means. From Christian Life Service and Action, be changed to Justice and Witness Ministries. Um, it is not a change that uh, uh, involves a change of duties. It is merely a change of identification. And uh, it is also asking that the Board of Directors make all the appropriate uh, uh, changes within the bylaws to accommodate that name change. Rich Gamble, chair of that committee, will speak to the motion. Uh, there are two primary reasons why we wanted this change. First of all, it's clear that social justice sits at the heart of our identity as people of faith and as the United Church of Christ, and to have a very clear and visible entity that's working on social justice. Our focus at CLSA has, um, over the last uh, couple of years, has been evolving more and more to take on this ministry of social justice and to be that, uh, that voice and that uh, source of support for churches that want to engage in this work. The second reason uh, is because CLSA is really clunky. Most people didn't know what it stood for. Half our committee gets it wrong half the time. Uh, it it uh, doesn't if you're looking for social justice, you're not necessarily going to look for CLSA. Um, if, uh, it just was uh, very broad and not very specific. So this will help us be much clearer in our identity. That's all I have. So we have a motion. Do we have any discussion? Robert Anderson, Graham Asylum. As a person who spent most of his adult life in ministry in the arena of social justice and mission, I read the phrase Christian life and Christian service as much broader than justice and witness, witness ministries. And so I, while I applaud the idea of trying to make that consistent with national language, which I think is the reason for uh, it seems to me that it truncates what is a much broader call to ministry for that committee, and I question that. Thank you. I see Nick roaming up to a microphone. Uh, I'm Nick Castellan, Westminster UCC. I don't see any further discussion, so let's go ahead and go forward and vote. All those in favor of supporting this resolution for the name change, please raise your voting card. Thank you. All those who are opposed, thank you. And those abstaining, the resolution's passed. Thank you. So, and thank you, Paul, and thank you, Rich, and thank you, Edie, for um, your work. The next resolution that we have before us is a resolution that um, pertains to declaring ourselves to be an open and affirming conference. And Dennis Hollinger Lant was the moderator for that. And uh, let's see, who's speaking? I've already forgotten Bob Fitzgerald and and Kathleen Morgan are going to be speaking, so I will let them come up. Would all of those miraculous people who had number twos on your tags 
Raise your hands. All right. They were a great group as we worked through the process. Uh, briefly to say that the, the vote of the group was to present this resolution to this plenary body with some minor uh, tweaks along the way. And all of those tweaks were accepted as uh, friendly amendments to the original resolution, which is in your packet. Uh, I'm going to call David Scholl forward. He was the scribe for uh, that session, and he will let you know what those changes are. So the tweaks, if you um, can pull out the sheet that you had uh, in your packet that had the original proposal from the uh, Coalition for Lesbian, Gay, Trans, uh, Bisexual, Transgender Concerns. The changes that were made were primarily uh, in several different areas. One was simply to make language parallel throughout the uh, Be It Resolves. The second one was to clarify the power that this group has and whom it can and cannot speak for. And the third had to do with broadening our understanding around gender identity issues. So those were the those were the um, areas that we uh, that we amended. So in the first, therefore, be it resolved, all that we changed in the third line of that resolution, where it says declare the Pacific Northwest Conference Conference to be open and affirming ONA of all persons, including but not limited to those who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, to make that more expansive. In the second, be it further resolved that we, the annual meeting of the Pacific Northwest Conference of the United Church of Christ, encourage its member churches to continue a committed, prayerful and respectful dialogue with one another as we seek God's guidance for greater biblical and theological understanding of important issues, including those relating to, we expanded human sexuality to include those relating to human rights, human sexuality, gender identity, and gender expression. So, so, um, Specifying that we cannot speak for other churches as an annual meeting or for the conference as a whole. We are speaking as an annual meeting. So that that is who the group that is encouraging member churches to do these things. Yeah. Sure. So uh, we encourage its member churches to continue a committed, prayerful, and respectful dialogue with one another as we seek God's guidance for greater biblical and theological understanding of important issues, including those relating to human rights, human sexuality, gender identity, and gender expression. The original had only included human sexuality. The third one is just simply, uh, be it further resolved that we, the annual meeting, we just added we to make it parallel to the other whereases or further resolves. The next one, be it further resolved that we, the annual meeting of the Pacific Northwest Conference of the United, not the untied Church of Christ, the United Church of Christ, encourage its church, its member churches to study and be in conversation about human rights, human sexuality the sacredness of all mutually affirming relationships, the gifts of different gender identity and expressions, and other related issues. So again, the changes in that were simply to parallel those made in the second, be it resolved, to include human rights and uh, gender identity and gender expression. And the uh, last one, be it further resolved is simply, again, reaffirming that we only speak as an annual meeting, so that we, the annual meeting of the Pacific Northwest Conference of the United Church of Christ, do what is stated in the rest of that, that section. Any questions about those changes, just in terms of what, what the content of the